This is a five out of freaking five. It is beat making time. Next week is E3. We might have one comes out next week. I have to live for it. This is your boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash True and Fun. Oh, <laughs> back at it with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay commentary video for you guys. I messed up on that title, but whatever. I could care less at this point in time. So, we are talking about the PS5 again because there's a number of things that broke over the past, what, month about this system? And keep in mind, we still don't know what the darn thing looks like, by the way. We know what the controller looks like, which is how the controller looks. It's basically the PS4 fused with the Xbox One controller. That, that's basically what it is. The PS4 controller fused with the Xbox One controller. That's what it is. But I will admit, it do look dope, in my opinion. It do look dope as heck. So I had no problems with the controller. Now, let's talk about what we've been hearing. So what we've been hearing is, now this part is either true or not true is either a rumor or is not a rumor we don't know but basically it was reported that the ps5 is severely underpowered in comparison to the, uh, again they need to change the name of this the new xbox series x system whatever this, this the stupid thing is called the new xbox that coming out so basically the apparently the rumor is that the ps5 is severely underpowered in comparison to the new xbox system that's coming out and they want to push it back for another year to make sure that everything is in correct order to compete with the upcoming Xbox system. Now, again, that rumor was like, what, three to four weeks old or something along those lines? And we haven't heard anything about that ever since. What we've been hearing about now is that the PS5 is still scheduled to come out this year, but there won't be a lot of them. So there will be a limited supply of the PS5 system. And the PS5 system could range from $500 to $550. U.S. dollars, obviously. USA, American dollars. And let me backtrack to the earlier rumor here. So, again, we have no clue about whether or not this is true or not. But, like, a lot of, you know, there's been a few people... Once they saw that boring press conference that Sony gave, and I heard some reasons behind it, because apparently it was supposed to be for a convention that was canceled because of the you know what virus. So they they decided to live stream it for the whole world to see, and that type of press conference was supposed to be for the developers to view and the technical guys, the technical media outlets, or whatever, to view and be amazed by the joint, and not for the general public. And my thing is, then why view it for the general public? You know, why, why did the general public have to see that? I mean, that made no sense. Don't, like, like, let's be real. There have been press conferences over the years that were not released to the general public. Like, somebody would have to hack in or somebody would be at the press conference and secretly stream the entire thing, whatever the case may be. So there have been press conferences in the past that was not released to the general public. Why this one had to be one of, you know, why this one? Why this one was released to the general public? That made no sense to me. All right, but let's talk about the specs about the PS5. Okay, I'm not going to get into the specs because even I don't understand every single hook and nanny about these systems coming out, man, because they're going out of control here. So let's talk about the HDD, which is what the PS4 have, rather. In the PS5, we have SSD, and I'll be honest, I don't know the difference between the two, but apparently SSD is better than HDD, whatever the case may be. And the SDD speed is going to be crazy and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. And the thing is, yeah, if, like, what you say is as impressive as you try to make it out to be, that's great and all, but where's the system? We still haven't seen what the system looked like yet. That's, you know, that's what I want to see. What the system looked like. And what games will be coming out on this system? And how would the games look on this system? That is what I want to see. So you can talk about, oh, the system going to do this, the system going to do that. I'm like, how about you show us what it's going to do? And 
they haven't done that. Now, granted, Microsoft hasn't done, done that either, but at least they showed us the system looked like. They broke down the actual system, and we saw the insides of it, even though I still haven't seen that video. But I heard such a video exists. But yeah, the only thing PS5 showed us is the controller. And I'm like, what? And that which brings us to that rumor that, yo, they haven't shown us a system because they don't have one ready. It's too under power and stuff like that. And it's, it's pretty crazy to believe that. But yet, again, the latest word is it's still coming out this holiday season. But again, there's going to be a few of, yeah, there's going to be fewer machines, fewer systems available than they were for the PS4 when it first came out back in 2013. So, let's see. Sony is said to be planning, and this is from TheVerse.com, by the way. Sony is said to be planning for shipments of 5 to 6 million units throughout the end of March next year. While it sold 7.5 million PS4 consoles, console, excuse me, in its equivalent launch period, even with a delayed release in Japan. So that's less than what was sold in Japan. And Japan had a delay, by the way. So, yeah, I mean, pretty interesting stuff. Now, with all that said, it leads me to ask this question. Am I, which, like, okay, which one am I planning on getting? The PS5 or the xbox series the new xbox well between the two companies i have always been a sony guy more so than microsoft even though i do i did own the xbox 360 before and i currently own the xbox one but if you look at sony's track record i own the ps1 i own the ps2 i own the ps3 i own the ps4 so and at one point i even own a psp 3000 either the three yeah i think it was the 3000 but either way more than likely, I'm getting the PS5. I don't know if I'm a, I, I'm not 100 percent sure if I'm gonna get on day one because I need to see more about this system because we haven't seen anything about the system, how it looks, and things of that nature. And there's been times where these systems, when they first come out, there's always some type of bug or whatever the case may be. And I don't want to deal with that. So, and I'll be honest with you guys, the only thing I'm playing on my PS4 right now is that new Final Fantasy. That's it. Uh, I may get back on that Kingdom Hearts to try and finish the secret uh, DLC stuff, but that on that PS4 is that Final Fantasy because the Nintendo Switch has been holding it down for me. So, if I don't get the PS5 right away, I got the Switch to hold me down. And so, yeah, there you go with that. So, basically, bottom line is this Sony needs to release a visual of the console, and they need to do this before Microsoft does it, and that is. Show us actual gameplay from within the PS5 as opposed to Microsoft showing off actual gameplay with the new Xbox. If they do that first, then yeah, they can win people over. But at this point in time, it's not looking good for them. But either way, I'm about to call it a wrap. So with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is boy, New Jack Aspie, a.k.a. New Stephen A. Smip, saying peace out, y'all. And I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.